What's up guys, my name is Glock and welcome to a very special video where I finally test the Intel Core i5-10400. Now I've been teasing this processor to you guys for the past days and on my previous video I told you guys that I'm gonna test this out in an unorthodox way. Now these 10th generation processors are marketed towards the gamers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some of my favorite games However, I'm not gonna use a GPU. I'm gonna remove the GPU. I'm gonna play it solely with the processing power of this CPU. Plus, it's integrated graphics card, which is the Intel UHD graphics. So, let's see if it can handle Genshin Impact, Valorant, and Minecraft. Alright, if it can run it smoothly, then that means this is one hell of a budget CPU, all right? And then if you pair it up with a GPU, then all the better. All right, guys, kinabit na namin yung 10th Gen Core i5-10400 dito sa Asus Tough Gaming B460M Plus Motherboard. And so, medyo messy yung thermal paste namin. But it should do. It should be fine. All right, there it is. It's working again. No GPU, only the CPU, all right? We Gucci. All right, here we go, guys. Welcome to my very old school way of uh, benchmarking. Uh, I'll be using this DSLR camera to directly record what we're seeing on the screen. Because uh, if I use a capture card, uh, it's just going to put some unnecessary strain to the CPU and we don't want that. We want the rawest possible data when it comes to benchmarking these games. So just to make sure, I said that we are only using the Intel Core i5-10400 CPU. There you go. And uh, just to make sure that we're not using any uh other gpu we're using its onboard graphics card which is the intel uhd graphics 630. so we're gonna test out valorant we're gonna test out minecraft and we're gonna test out genshin impact and see if it can still uh run the game smoothly i'll bite in the lowest settings but the, the most important thing is it can run it smoothly okay here we go guys this is how it's gonna look like we have the benchmark values right over here and we have the game running there so so far so good no crashes or whatsoever we're gonna start with valorant and uh, here are the pc specs we're currently using there you go all right now before we start uh, i'm just gonna give you guys like a run through of what the difference between the cpu and the gpu is uh with regards to its workload on video games so just think of the cpu as the mathematician okay it handles all the logical processes like the ai of the npcs the physics of the game the gunplay and all that so it's very very important when it comes to fps games like valorant or csgo because it handles all the latency and how it uh, processes all the the fighting and the combat now as for the gpu it's more of the artist okay the painter so it handles more of the processes with regards to the graphics, the visuals, okay, how the wall looks like, the textures of the guns, and the visuals, just pretty much the visuals, okay, it's the artist, so the CPU is the mathematician, the GPU is the artiste. So, uh, how do they go hand in hand? So, right now we are only using the CPU with its integrated graphics card, so more of the load is on the CPU. Now, if you add a GPU, uh, they're gonna share the processes. So with a G with a GPU, it can handle all of the visual stuff. So the CPU can focus more on the phys physics. Okay, that's how it works. So what we're trying to do with our test right now is, if the Intel i5-10400 can handle a game without a GPU, I mean, if it can run smoothly with a stable FPS, then that means if you add a GPU to it, it's gonna run the game even better. Okay, you're gonna get a better experience and all that. So we're just purely trying to stress test 
and see the capabilities of the CPU with regards to gaming. Alright, for our graphic settings for this game, uh, we have it all on low. Uh, here, uh, graphics quality, low. Everything is on low and our FPS is not limited so that we can see the full FPS right over here. Alright guys, so let's do it! Alright, warm up. So far, 77 FPS to 64. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. Alright, got that guy. So far, so good. I'm not feeling any frame drops. The game obviously kind of feels uh, a bit slower. Because I'm not used to these graphics. And I uh, usually play in a higher FPS. But I think this is, you know, enough. <laughs> To like play the game. Yeah, so far so good. Oh. Yeah, my aim just sucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> to my right. Got him. Two. Should be another guy here. Got him. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. There you go. One more. To my right. Ah! Alright, so far so good, guys. We got around, well, above 60 FPS average. So that's pretty nice. So again, if you pair that up with a GPU, then you'll probably get higher values and definitely a better gaming experience. But so far, with just the Intel Core i5-10400, it was doing well. Okay, it was smooth. All good. So the next game we're gonna try out is Minecraft. So, let's go. Okay, next up is Vanilla Minecraft Java Edition. We're not gonna use any shaders or any graphic enhancement tools or whatever. We're just gonna use good ol' Minecraft Java Edition. Okay, that's it. And my current options are video settings in 1920 by 1080p. And uh, we're not gonna go for full screen because I have a huge ass monitor and it always adjusts to the native resolution of the monitor. So I've adjusted it to Windows. I mean, windowed mode, so graphics is at fancy, smooth lighting maximum, and all that. Alright, render distance, only at 12 chunks. Okay, we Gucci. So, let's uh, go to one of my new creative worlds. Let's check this out. That was fast, and here we go. So, we're currently getting around... 44, 51 FPS. Let me give you guys like a closer look right there. See? I'm not sure if you guys can see it properly, but those are the values. The values don't lie. We get 59, 58 FPS stable. If we go near lava, um, it's all good. Still smooth. 60 FPS. We go near the cows. 56 to 60 FPS. So far, so good, guys. See? Chickens, pigs, they're all good. So, a little fun fact about Minecraft is that, well, it's not really that CPU intensive. Because from what I've heard, uh, Java Minecraft can run on uh, at least one core of your CPU. So... It's not really that surprising that it's smooth with this CPU, but still, it's pretty impressive. So even if we go back way over here with all these elements, it's still processing everything pretty fast. See that? Nice! Even with the bee just sitting around here, it's all good. See that? 60 FPS, no problems. Yeah, there you go. So if you plan on playing just Minecraft with a i5-10400 without a GPU, it's gonna run smoothly. On to the next game! Alright guys, welcome to Genshin Impact! And we're getting around 36 FPS. This is our settings at the moment. 
So we have graphics quality custom FPS is at 60 and uh, render resolution is at 1.5 so this is the fullest visual effects are set to the lowest and that's pretty much it but so far we're getting around 30 fps and the game looks so nice despite the low fps see amber looks absolutely cute and beautiful even noel even chi chi looks amazing look at that but how does it fare in combat here we go we're about to find out there's like a uh, what do you call this? Uh, an anemo hypostasis right here. We're gonna kick its ass. Here we go, boys. So we're just gonna do this. And boom, I'm gonna flex my Noel uh, damage. See that? 3k. 3k. Ooh, 10k damage. Ooh, yeah. So far, so good. We're getting a stable. 37, 38, 39 FPS. Oh. Hey, I'm, I'm impressed. Why is that? Yo, guys, so far so good. Go, Amber. Finish him off. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Short. This should finish him off. Boom. And there you go. Kunpiki! All Gucci! Again, I didn't change anything here. We're still at these graphics. Lowest, 60. All is good. So, yep. If you guys are planning to play Genshin Impact, uh, it's safe to say that the Intel Core i5-10400 can definitely handle it in the lowest settings with the highest render resolution so there you go awesome yeah, i'm pretty impressed that was cool that was really cool nice i got dumb drops though so there you have it guys what more can i say the intel i5 10400 is pretty good uh i didn't bother you know testing cyberpunk 2077 because uh why would you play cyberpunk in the lowest settings all right it's one of the those single t uh, single player games are meant to be played in its full glory and by immersing yourself in the environment so yeah get yourself a gpu plus this one it should be able to handle cyberpunk with the help of a gpu so there you go guys and if you're planning on buying the new 10th gen processors along with uh the i3 or any i5 10th gen then you guys might stand a chance to win up to a hundred thousand pesos worth of paid maya credits and other prizes so there's a link in the description below where you can uh read more about the details on that promo all right guys so i hope you guys learned something today and i hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys again in my next videos happy holidays guys bye <music>